In the face of an astoundingly brutal threat from Iran to wipe Israel off the map and do it in the next few days, will Israel use the nukes that everyone knows they have, but Israel doesn't say? We're going to talk about it. Israeli aircraft industries has talked about using all of the weapons Israel has, including their doomsday weapon, which is this. That is a nuclear bomb. And Israel, as the world knows, even though Israel's never admitted it, has them, lots of them, with many different deliverable vehicles on missiles, loaded on jets, and loaded in their undersea submarine dolphin fleet manufactured for them by Germany. Literally, Israel could vaporize all of Iran with one launch from the three platforms I just talked about. A senior military technology official said Jerusalem is prepared to use these if it becomes an existential threat. The head of Israeli aerospace industries, uh, Yair Katz, said they will use all their weapons if necessary to guarantee the survival of the state of Israel. Now, what's your answer to the question? when I put it to you like that. I think I'm referring back to my answer. They're, they're wanting to obliterate, annihilate, destroy, disappear Israel. And these are these are nuclear weapons that they're wanting to use against Israel. And Israel knows what they're, they've been doing. I mean, how should Israel re, how should Israel respond to this? Well, I'm is this gonna that. is this gonna be is this gonna be the is this gonna be it here bringing us into World War Three? Well, that's the discussion I had with the person who I can't name last night. And what this highly placed person was telling me is that Israel has never confirmed or denied what it has. The whole world knows. The question is, if Tehran disappeared and it would disappear, one of those would wipe out the entire population of Tehran in an instant. What would the rest of the world do? Turkey, Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, Saudi Arabia, Yemen. Well, what is what is the United States of America going to do? Because I just saw a report yesterday where they, the United States of America sent 12 battleships to the region. And then I saw another report this morning where they're actually actually sending more military personnel, which is kind of interesting to me, Barry, because Joe Biden has been holding back giving resources to Israel so they so that they can defend themselves with the Iron Dome. And you mentioned it multiple times, too, that Israel can't sustain a thousand fifteen hundred rockets, a thousand drones coming at them. Plus, I'm willing to go on a limb here, Barry, and you can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm willing to bet when they do this all out assault that they're going to do these paratrooper glider. What are those glider? You know, the glide paratroopers. Yeah, the hand gliders. Yeah, I'm willing to bet that they're going to do that as well. It's going to be a a, a full-on assault. Well, we'll see. And what strikes me as incredible that Iran is not taking, at least doesn't appear to be taking, the Israeli capability seriously, which I find amazing. That little bomb right there, one of those gets into Tehran and Tehran doesn't exist anymore. Literally vaporized the but, entire but government. Israel knows Tehran is working on nuclear weapons Right. They know that they're working on them. And I think they're going to look, I th I'm referring back to my first my first response again. They're going to have to put their foot down. I mean, well, they don't have any choice. They're going to have to put the foot down. It, but see, I think when they, when they put their foot down, it's going to escalate. It's going to be just like you said, Turkey's going to get involved. Then, you know, Saudi Arabia more likely get involved. You have uh, Iraq get involved. You're going to have, you know, other Muslim nations get involved. United States of America, Russia, I believe, will get involved. China will get involved. And they're going to have to. If they're going to defend themselves, that means they're putting their foot down. Well, at this point, as Americans, I would say for our audience out there, it's time to pray for Israel. I agree. But isn't aren't they saying that they're going to... Didn't they even... Not only are they threatening Israel, but they're threatening the U.S. at the same time. And yeah, we they, know, they actually, and we know they, the sleeper sales here. That that's a that's a very good point. They have said that anyone that aids Israel, or even allows Israel to use their airspace, like Jordan or Saudi Arabia, 
or Cyprus or Greece or the United States or Great Britain or Germany, all of whom will be helping, will be subject to Iran's attacks as well. I wish we had a Reagan in the White House or a Trump in the White House that would say, okay, that's it, back down, shut everything down, you have six hours or I'm gonna sink your entire fleet. We'll start with that. And remember, Reagan was feared around the world. Yeah. So was Trump. Yes. Nobody's afraid of Biden. And nobody has any clue what Harris is even saying. So at this point, I mean, it's pathetic, but it's true. Mm -hmm. If we had leadership, peace through strength, Israel would not be threatened right now. If Reagan or Trump was sending the fleet across the Mediterranean to anchor off of Israel and the shores of Lebanon, Iran would stand down if a leader in the White House had the backbone to back up the threat. We don't, and they know it.